in my presentation. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. Today I am going to present my work, which uh, we did uh, in Jamia Hamdar, uh, Center for Transgenic Plant Development, Department of Biotechnology, Jamia Hamdar. And uh, this is basically contribution uh, of uh, the work which we carried out together with my uh, with, our, uh, with the students, uh, PhD students. So uh, I am going to talk about uh, transcriptional and post-transcriptional regulation of secondary metabolites in uh, medicinal plants. And uh, let us uh, start, begin with my presentation. So uh, as we already know that uh, the challenges that faced by humanity in 50 to 100 years ahead uh, include insufficient and healthy food, climate change resulting from increased greenhouse gas accumulation, inadequate power for needs of a growing and incre increasingly energy dependent population, need for new medicines to treat existing and emerging diseases. And the solution uh, of all these problems lies with the plants. Plants are, as we already know, that uh, they are a natural resource providing many things to us, including uh, medicines. And uh, uh, we already know that uh, if we see, uh, they are repository of various uh, secondary metabolites. Uh, it has been estimated that around 5,000 to 25,000 compounds are present uh, per plant. So uh, we can see like uh, they, they are a huge repository of uh, natural uh, products. And uh, then these are being utilized by human beings, not only in medicine, but also in uh, other many other commercial products, including natural dyes, uh, paints, uh, fragrances, uh, spices, uh, et cetera. So, uh, but uh, our major objective here is uh, uh, we, we did research on those secondary metabolites which are of medicinal importance and uh, uh, they are being utilized in uh, modern medicine. One of them is artemisinin uh, that is used in artemisinin based combination therapy. Now the major problem with this, uh, 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 with these metabolites is that their concentration is very, very low in plants. And uh, uh, then uh, for, uh, to increase their concentration, to make them commercially viable for uh, production, uh, scientists, they are trying to enhance their concentration in the plants because actually many of these metabolites, they are still extracted from the plants for their commercial exploitation. And the example is Artemisia uh, anva itself uh, from where artemisin is obtained. So, uh, what we did, we first tried to understood the biochemical pathway that is basically responsible for the biosynthesis of artemisinin uh, in artemisia anva plants. Uh, and uh, uh, as we already know that uh, the demand of artemisinin uh, is uh, very high as compared to its production uh, uh, as far as the global scenario is concerned. Uh, uh, in India also, we are uh, only producing 40 to, uh, 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 we, uh, we are, uh, our demand is 40 to 50 tons of artemisinin per year, but uh, production is only 12 tons. So we are uh, mo uh, majorly importing artemisinin from uh, outside uh, from China and other countries uh, to fulfill our requirement. And this is being utilized then for the production of artemisinin based combination therapy. So actually, uh, we basically, uh, 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 we already uh, uh, did some work and uh, uh, the work that is already uh, there in the literature ca carried out by many scientists. Uh, this artemisinin biosynthetic pathway we uh, constructed and uh, what we found is that uh, there are two pathways uh, which provide uh, the precursor for the synthesis of artemisinin. One is mevalonate pathway that operates in cytoplasm of the cell. The other one is uh, DX uh, R, uh, R pathway that operates in uh, uh, in chloroplast. Uh, and the enzyme, the first first enzyme of mevalonate pathway is HMG coA reductase that convert uh, a, a three acetyl coA enzyme. Uh, first three acetyl coA enzyme is, is uh, uh, converted to HMG coA. 
and then it is converted to mevalonate by uh, HMG CoA reductase, and this is found to be rate limiting enzyme. And this enzyme is uh, inhibited by mevalonin, so it is basically a competitive uh, inhibitor of HMGR. Similarly, uh, the enzyme that is the rate limiting, uh, catalyzing rate limiting is, is step in uh, uh, the uh, alternate pathway that is uh, DXR. So uh, uh, its inhibitor is phosphimidomycin. Uh, so actually what we did, uh, we used precursors and uh, uh, the inhibitors of uh, uh, these, these en enzymes and we found that if we, uh, uh, we uh, provide precursors of the mulinate pathway, there is an enhancement in artemisinin and biosynthesis. So you can see uh, like uh, with increasing concentration of HMG-CoA, there is increase in artemisinin biosynthesis. Similarly, if we increase the mevalonate, then again, there is uh, increase in artemisinin biosynthesis. But if we uh, use mevanolin and we increase its concentration, there is inhibition in artemisinin biosynthesis. So this shows the inhibition in artemisinin biosynthesis and maximum inhibition we achieve with 150 micromolar uh, mevanolin. So actually we, uh, in our subsequent experiments, we used uh, this uh, inhibitory concentration of mevanolin to, to see how much uh, uh, this uh, uh, reduces uh, artemisinin biosynthesis in the presence of HMG-CoA, which is precursor of HMG-CoA reductase. So if we increase the uh, HMG-CoA, which is precursor of artemisinin biosynthesis, uh, with a concentration of mevanolin that is 150 micromolar. So as we increase the HMG-CoA concentration, we, uh, we uh, can reduce the inhibit inhibitory effect of mevanolin uh, 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 in a same way. Uh, we suggest that uh, uh, with increase in the precursor, we are making more and more precursor available at the active site of the enzyme and we can overcome the in, uh, competitive inhibition that is carried out by, uh, 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 by this uh, mevanolin. Similarly, we use phosphimidomycin and then uh, uh, we also uh, evaluated uh, the effect of uh, mevanolin. And we found that uh, uh, with these experiments, we found that uh, maximum inhibition uh, is achieved, maximum inhibition of artemisinin biosynthesis is achieved with mevalonil, mevanolin rather than phosphomidomycin. So a phosphomidomycin uh, can only inhibit artemisinin biosynthesis up to uh, around 18%. While if we use uh, mevalonil, it can uh, inhibit artemisinin biosynthesis by uh, more than 80%. So that basically shows that major contributor uh, to uh, carbon precursor for artemisinin biosynthesis is uh, this uh, 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 mevalonate pathway rather than alternate pathway. And thus, uh, we uh, uh, tried to uh, uh, genetically engineer Artemisia annua plant by overexpressing HMG coerate gene. Uh, uh, in the transformed plants. And uh, uh, we actually, uh, after transformation, we uh, analyzed uh, the uh, copy number and also the expression level of HMG coa reductase gene. And then we correlated it uh, with the HMG coa reductase activity and the artemisinin uh, content, percent artemisinin content. And we can see like uh, when we uh, did these uh, experiments, we found that uh, when we overexpress HMG coreductase gene, uh, that result into a, a, an increase in the HMG coreductase activity and also enhancement in artemisinin biosynthesis uh, by 38.9% as compared to the wild type. But we further wanted to uh, enhance artemisinin biosynthesis and its concentration in Artemisia anua. So along with HMG coreductase, we also uh, put ADS in our uh, expression uh, vector and then use this vector to transform Artemisia anua. This uh, MRFA4 11 diene synthase gene, it codes for MRFA4 11 diene synthase enzyme that catalyzes the first step in Artemisin biosynthesis, which is, which is linking it to mevalonate pathway. So basically it uh, directs uh, this uh, pharnacyl pyrophosphate towards artemisinin biosynthesis. If we overexpress it, 
naturally more FPP will go into the uh, artemisinin biosynthesis. So when we use this construct and uh, then uh, we transform Artemisia anua and uh, then analyzed uh, the uh, transformed uh, plant, uh, it is T4 line. So uh, what we found that there was further increase in artemisinin concentration. Uh, it uh, increases from 0 0.650 that was found in uh, natural plant to uh, 1.258 in uh, transgenic plant. So uh, the percent enhancement was 74.13%, which was much higher as compared to the normal Artemisia annua plant. Uh, Dr. Abdin, uh, the slides are not working. Uh, can you check your slides, please? Uh, slides are not visible? No, only first page. First page? You the click other page on the screen. The you other page is not F5. This is uh, this is what the slide. This is uh, I think uh, uh, it is visible to me. I don't know. Is it visible yeah. to all of you? This slide. Uh, we we show your first slides. First and slide. Not, uh, not the next one. I think. Uh, we, uh, it, I, I'm sharing it. I don't know exactly why it is not visible to you. Can you change your slide if they are moving? Change? Maybe you you should uh, wrong uh, applications for your uh, screen. Yeah, screen. Uh, screen uh, should I? Uh, this is uh, I, I am sharing full screen. We we will we will not uh, see full screen. We will uh, actually actually there is a window. PowerPoint. There 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 is a window. So it may be uh, basically hiding some of the uh, uh, some numbers. Uh, you you may uh, shoot all. Uh, sharing and uh, repeat again maybe again should i share yes. again yes you stop sharing and uh, sh share again for full screens maybe uh, we are a little bit late i uh. think because It's already half an hour. It's yeah. half an hour, so we are all present or waiting. So I will destroy my screen. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Are you are you seeing now? Yes, the first page. Okay. You uh, press five uh, F five. F five. Okay, sorry, but the other presenter are asking is it, for Is it the... visible now? That change, uh, we will Dr. Abdi, see again. Uh, can you power your presentation, I think? Uh, okay, okay, so. Uh, yes, so yes, so we are table. late. Okay, I, I will continue, I will continue. So. You can so, see the presentation. Uh, I, I, I will continue, okay. So, uh, so we, we uh, further uh, basically uh, did uh, 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 analysis of various uh, components of tapin biosynthetic pathway, and we found that in our transgenic Artemisia annua plants, the essential oil biosynthesis was uh, basically much more as compared to the other components uh, uh, where we were interested. So for artemisinin, uh, artemisinin bias, to increase artemisinin biosynthesis and its concentration further, uh, we, uh, uh, we we found that if we uh, block essential oil biosynthesis, then we can uh, divert the precursor uh, for uh, biosynthesis of artemisinin, and uh, we can increase its concentration. So that work we are already uh, doing. We also uh, 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 throw uh, high throughput sequencing. We identified several miRNAs. 
uh, that uh, uh, target uh, many genes in artemisinin biosynthetic pathway. You can see here, like these are all microRNAs which we uh, identified through high throughput uh, sequencing, and uh, then uh, we we are going to use them to further regulate artemisinin biosynthesis and uh, its concentration in Artemisia anva. So uh, to, to conclude, actually, what we found is that overexpression of HMGR, including rate limiting enzyme of mutated pathway, uh, three, uh, this HMGR uh, in Artemisia anva led to increase in artemisin content by 38.9% over wild type. Uh, we also found that if we uh, 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 overexpress both HMGR and ADS, then we can increase artemisinin level by 74.13% in uh, transgenic uh, plants over wild type. Uh, if uh, 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 then, uh, uh, if we block the essential oil biosynthesis, we can further di divert uh, uh, this uh, precursor for artemisinin biosynthesis and we can increase uh, artemisinin level. And uh, similarly, uh, we have identified uh, many microRNAs which target. Uh, mevalonate pathway uh, enzyme uh, genes and also artemisinin biosynthetic gene and we can use them to regulate artemisinin biosynthesis. Uh, similarly, we have worked uh, this uh, steviol glycoside. Uh, we uh, did uh, experiments to improve steviol gl glycoside biosynthesis in stevia ribardiana. You all know that uh, this is uh, a plant which produces uh, natural sweetener that is uh, steviol glycoside. And uh, the two steviol glycosides, steviocide uh, and ribardioside, they are present in higher concentration as compared to other components of steviol glycoside. So uh, through uh, this uh, micro RNA, uh, through use of micro RNA and by uh, overexpressing them and uh, down-regulating them, uh, we found that we can improve uh, this uh, steviocide and uh, ribardioside A uh, in, uh, in, in uh, the plants, stevia rivadana plants, and uh, then uh, we can improve not only the, uh, the uh, yield of uh, steviol uh, glycosides, but at the same time, we also improve uh, platability uh, of the uh, steviol uh, glycosides. And uh, actually, uh, what we found is that this was basically, this was the, uh, our, uh, we for the first time identified these micro RNAs from Stevia ribardiana. We also use antisense technology uh, to uh, block the expression of uh, micro RNA uh, biosynthesis uh, in uh, Stevia ribardiana through antisense uh, technology. So this, this, we for the first time reported it and uh, we actually, uh, we have submitted it for patent, uh, which is already in process. Uh, we also find that, uh, found that one of the micro RNAs uh, that is uh, MIRST11, uh, uh, it was not basically uh, down regulating expression of its target gene, but uh, instead it was enhancing the expression. So this is an unusual observation. Only three examples have been reported in animal system. We, for the first time, reported it uh, from plants. Nobody else has reported till date uh, that uh, the uh, micro RNA uh, is uh, uh, like uh, 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 responsible for overexpression of its target gene. And uh, actually, uh, 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 we we proposed a scheme uh, where uh, we showed that uh, this microRNA, this microRNA, it binds with the promoter region of its target gene and, the, uh, and just acting like an uh, transcription, a transcription factor and uh, uh, help in uh, tr uh, higher transcription of uh, its target gene. So uh, that uh, we have uh, reported uh, in uh, B. Uh, we, we reported it in BMS, uh, sorry, in BMC plant biology, BMC plant biology, uh, we reported this finding. So actually, uh, to summarize this, uh, based on the relationship pattern among expression levels of mRNAs, their target mRNAs, uh, 
uh, as well as vestibule glycosides in these tissues. The two miRNAs were found similar relationship with expression levels of their, their target genes involved in, in stevial glycosides pathway. One is MIR319G and the other one is MIRSTV11. Uh, but uh, when we down-regulated MIR319G uh, and, and uh, up-regulated MIRSTV11, uh, these were found to improve, improve the expression of their target gene further. So actually it, it is acting just like the other micro, uh, micro RNAs. So if we overexpress this, what will happen? It will downregulate its target gene. If we downregulate its expression, the, its target gene will be overexpressed. Uh, but in this case, if we downregulate MIRSTV11 expression, its gene uh, is also target gene is also downregulated. If we uh, upregulate MIRSTV11, then its target gene is also upregulated. That is very unusual observation that we have observed and we tried to explain. We have published this finding in BMC Biology. Uh, uh, so uh, by uh, doing this, by down-regulating MIR319G and up-regulating MIRSTV11, we have found uh, an increase in the stevio site and and 9% respectively. Uh, in case of uh, this, uh, uh, the uh, transgenic uh, stevia riverina plants as compared to the normal plants. And th the ratio of side A to side was also changed. It was enhanced, uh, thus improving the, not only the uh, platability, but also anti-diabetic property, because it has been found that this uh, 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 stevia, uh, uh, this uh, 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 RS, uh, 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 this um, ribadioside A, it, it basically has anti-diabetic property. And uh, it uh, uh, basically uh, uh, is able to uh, manage type two diabetes through glucose dependent uh, secretion of insulin. So th this is a very interesting observation that uh, we have found. And uh, uh, with these words, actually, I am uh, wind up, winding up my lecture. Uh, uh, I must acknowledge uh, the contribution of our student. You can see here they are in our team. So they, uh, these four people, they worked uh, on Artemisia Anva and uh, on uh, Stevia Rigordiana. She, is, uh, country, uh, she has contributed a lot. Dr. Monica Safi, uh, she has contributed a lot on uh, Stevia Rivardiana. And uh, we, we also acknowledge the financial support that we uh, obtained from a DPRP program of DST Government of India and uh, a company, uh, Mesa Sipka Laboratory Private Limited, Mumbai, India. Okay. Uh, and uh, sure. then we also got funding from DVT Government of India and also from University Grants Commission. So we thank uh, all uh, these funding agencies. And with these words, I thank you all for uh, your patience uh, listening. And I am ready to answer any question.